Hello class, back again with some more fantastic numbers. So last time we did decimal to binary and binary back to decimal. So the binary number system, when we think about that, that has an alphabet. The alphabet consists of zeros and ones. So when we say an alphabet consists of zeros and ones, well that means we can get elements within that alphabet. So for example, a valid binary number is just any number that consists of zeros and ones and is base two. But in computer science, we have other number systems that we would use quite regularly. One of those systems is the hexadecimal alphabet number. So the hexadecimal number system, we call it hex. And that's simply made up with the alphabet that runs from zero up to nine, just like the decimal number system. And then it goes from A, B, up to F. Where if we think about it, we have 0 up to 9, so A would be 10, B is 11, and so on and so on. So what we'll do is we'll convert a hexadecimal number into a decimal number. So we take any hexadecimal number at all, so we just need to grab something with elements from here. So we'll take an A, and we'll take a decimal, or we take one of the first 10 digits as well, we'll take a 1. So we have the hexadecimal number, A1, and we need to convert that into a decimal. So it's a similar enough process. So what we do is we look at the least significant digit, where there's zero above that, and go from right to left, just counting. So we just need to go one step and write a one down. So again, it's uh, called the position value number system. So to expand this hexadecimal out into a decimal number, we take A, so A, we look at our alphabet, will be represented by the unit of 10. So we say 10 multiplied by the base of hexadecimal, which is 16, raised to the power of the index, which is 1, plus the number, which is 1, multiplied by the base 16, raised to the power of 0. So if we work this out, we say 16 to the power of 1 is 16, multiplied by 10 gives us 160, plus well, 16 to the power of 0, Anything raised to the power of 0 gives us a 1. 1 multiplied by 1 gives us a 1. So we get 161. So 161 in decimal is equal to A1 in hexadecimal. So now since we went from hexadecimal into decimal, let's do it the other way around. So if we want to go from a decimal number back into a hexadecimal number, or dec decimal into hex, we simply say we have the decimal number of 161. We divide that by the base, which is divided by 16. Well, 16 into 161 goes in 10 times with a remainder of 1. So now we take the 10, we say 10 divided by 16. Well, 10 divided by 16 doesn't go, so we have 0. And we have a remainder of 10. Once we get to 0, we know we've finished and we've stopped. So now we have 10 and 1. So 1 is a valid representative of an alphabet character from the hexadecimal alphabet. 10 in the alphabet is actually represented by A. So once we have all the remainders, we read back up again. And so we get A, 1. So once again, we finished. We're back to hexadecimal. We have A1, which is the same as what we started with. So we're all finished. We'll draw a little... Happy face.